Let us write the complex number z equals negative 1 plus i in its trigonometric form. It's given in the Cartesian form of the complex number. So we can very quickly see that the real part of z is negative 1, and the imaginary part of z is positive 1. So if we think about that for a moment, right, uh, our our x coordinate is negative which means we're going to be over here somewhere but our y coordinate is positive so if you have a negative positive that puts our point in the second quadrant that's an important thing to remember here we compute the modulus which is going to be the square root of negative one squared plus one squared that'll just simplify to be the square root of two and in terms of the argument we can make just sort of an arc tangent type argument we have to do arc tangent of negative one now, if you consult your calculator, your calculator, if you take arctangent of negative 1, it wants to give you an angle over here. It's going to give you negative pi force. But that's an angle in the fourth quadrant. We have to add 180 to it or add pi to it, whichever you're using radians or degrees. We have to add pi to that negative pi force. That gives us 3 pi force, which is an actual angle in the second quadrant. That's why it's important to pay attention to the quadrant. And therefore, the, com the, the, the trigonometric form of this complex number will be, it always has the form r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. So we plug in the modulus, which is the square root of 2. We plug in the angle, which is 3 pi fourths. And we see that z equals the square root of 2 times cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus i sine 3 pi over 4. And I want you to notice here that if we actually computed cosine of 3 pi fourths and sine of 3 pi fourths, you would end up with negative root 2 over 2 plus i times root 2 over 2. If you distribute the square root of 2, you're going to end up with negative 2 over 2 plus i times 2 over 2, which simplifies to be negative 1 plus i. So we can go back from the trigonometric form to the Cartesian form just by computing the trigonometric functions and simplifying it. But we see here how one can write a trigonometric or how one can write a complex number in trigonometric form.